Martin Luther King's dream is more relevant today than it was at the time that he spoke those powerful words. We've heard people pushing the Berlin Wall down, singing, We Shall Overcome. We have seen Nelson Mandela and South Africa come together and overcome a century of racial hatred and discord and create something of a beloved community in fact. And we hear the rumblings uh, all over the land of people who now have heard the cry of freedom. They have seen the blessings of wealth and prosperity on the planet. And they want that dream to apply to them as well. There has been a backlash which has made America and the world more materialistic. When people get fearful, uh, they get selfish, they want to hold on to what they have and get more and more guns to protect it. Shortly after the march on Washington, when we began to talk about the war in, in Vietnam, it was clear then that, uh, that war was not the answer. And one of the prophetic statements that Martin made that didn't get a lot of publicity was that the bombs we drop on Vietnam will explode at home in unemployment and inflation. As Martin said to the crowd on his doorstep after his home was bombed, what we need and what we seek cannot be achieved with violence. You can't create jobs by destroying everything. We've got to go back to that original message and find a more excellent way to create partnerships economically uh, and to make the global economy work for all of God's children. We have a dysfunctional economy globally. The world's economy doesn't work. There's seven billion people on the planet, only 1.2 billion jobs. We have an inadequate model for living, that life is not a machine. It's more like a garden. And that in a garden, a garden must be tended, a garden must be plowed, a garden seeds must be planted. Uh, trees of, and flowers of different types must be able to coexist. This is no longer a black dream, no longer just an American dream. This is a global dream that the hungry might be fed, that the naked might be clothed, that the sick might be healed, and that the oppressed might be released from their oppression. It's as old as Jesus of Nazareth, and it even goes back to the prophet Isaiah, uh, but it's still a dream unfulfilled for the overwhelming majority of the children of earth.